everybody! Welcome back to the Wattpad Book Club. My name is Phoenix, and once again, I'm getting interrupted by phone calls. Go on. And I am joined by Minho this, on this lovely day. Yay. Yeah, screw the phone call. I am busy reading fan fiction. Well, I, I brought you back, mainly because I, I don't know. Why do you keep coming back? I don't know. You could have ghosted by now. We read the Zosun one, you could have dipped through it. I like pain. <laughs> what is it? What are they called? Like masochists that like pain? Uh, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, I'm that one. Yeah. <laughs> Minho's personality masochist. <laughs> oh god. <laughs> so, uh, because we love making ourselves suffer so much, uh, we put on the wheel as a joke, Chain X Reader, and lo and behold, the wheel hates us. Hooray! Yay. Is Hooray. it supposed to be a, like a female reader? I, think I don't it's see any like. Oh, no. oh, yeah, I see the description. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. This one is called Stardew Valley's Chain X Reader. Riveting title. <laughs> Straight to the point. Yeah. At least we know what we're getting ourselves into. At least it's not a fucking Shane Dawson X reader. I don't think I could do that. <laughs> Actually, your your Metopia thing is like job is a cat, so we maybe could do that. Wait, do what? No, wait, never mind. You what? You don't get it. Uh, no. Oh, like Shane? You don't know? Like you know who Shane Dawson is, right? Uh, I think so, yeah. Yeah, he was like one of the OG YouTubers. He kind of fell off the platform because he got cancelled a lot. One of the things he got cancelled for because people thought was weird is that he made a lot of sexual references to his cat and shit that he would do to his cat. So that oh, was a wait, joke. I, yeah, I've seen him before. Yeah, so that was the joke. Since your your job in Metopia is it's cat, we would we would be able to do fan fiction pretty well. Nope, 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 <laughs> nope. I said I was kidding, we're not doing that to ourselves. <laughs> like, I want to read a fucking Shane Dawson X reader. I will never read a YouTuber X reader or like a real person because that's just cringe, alright? Shane X Cat. No! Are you Googling that? No, I'm not. I'm, that, I'm sure it exists somewhere. Yeah, some sick fucks probably made that. I've seen some really weird things on AO3 and Wattpad over my years. Someone's probably made it. Well, anyway. If it exists, it's a thing. Yeah. What's rule the... something something. Yeah, I was like, what's the rule again? <laughs> Alright, well, the description for this one reads, As you move into your grandfather's farm in Sardew Valley, it was like pressing a reset button. Your old life was suddenly behind you. Upon me and the people in town, there was one person who seemed more special than the others. General... Gender neutral. <laughs> General neutral. I that That's his title. <laughs> I thought I could. I thought I'd. I fix it in time, so you didn't notice. But of course, <laughs> ridicule me. Ha <laughs> <laughs> ha! <Haha>, tell me. <laughs> you know I can't read. <laughs> <laughs> well, this is this is. I'd rather read the Scooby Doo X reader. <laughs> I really enjoyed it though. <laughs> the dubbing, yes. Yeah. It was fun. I got the I uh, I got told by Derby that he hated my voice for Daphne and Velma personally. So, <laughs> so uh, I, I, I thought it was accurate. Yeah, and they're like, please never do that voice ever again. And then I responded by by doing the voice and be like, what are you talking about? You don't like this voice? <laughs> 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 okay, I'll stop. All right, <laughs> fucking read this. Oh uh, no. <laughs> now you can't put a nice photo of like a nice drawn thing of him. It's not gonna make me like him. He's an asshole. <laughs> oh, it's a good drawing. Yeah. Oh look, someone else here. <laughs> Keep up. <laughs> All right. I wish I could draw like that. So, what is our character's name? Hmm. What are we replacing? I don't see it here. I think it's YN. 
Y N. Uh, you can name it this time. Oh God. So what was it like, Bill? We had Bill Nye, Bill Cipher, Bill Gates. What's another Bill name we can do? Um, let's go to Google. I'm gonna go to Google. Famous Bills. <laughs> Famous Bills. It's gonna be like the Bill of Rights or something. Oh. I don't even know if last name's coming. Oh my God! Please. The first thing that comes up. Cosby. Bill Co oh my god, perfect. Oh god. Bill Cosby and Shane. A match made in <laughs> Cosby. I think this is gonna age very well. Yeah. Actually, I don't know what Bill Cosby did, to be completely honest. I know he's a bad person, but I don't know what he did, and I'm too afraid to Google it. Um... Should this not be I it? would... <laughs> Yeah, I would... You we'll can talk Google about it in your own free time. It was pretty... it was pretty bad. Okay, cool. Alright. I'm learning so much. <laughs> I don't... Oh wait, I have a bottle cap! Because I'm an alcoholic, apparently. Alright. <laughs> <laughs> Do you want to be the, the Smirnoff side, or the, uh, the inside bit? Smirnoff? Yeah, I drink Smirnoffs. Oh, wait, is it, like, in a can or something? No, it's a bottle. Like a glass bottle? Yeah, well, I'm flipping the bottle cap. I'm not just flipping a bottle. <laughs> just roll it on the floor. I'm so confused what it looks like. What, the bottle cap? Yeah, I think... How do you flip a Smirnoff bottle cap? I mean, it's kind of like a coin. Isn't it like a cylinder? Uh, I mean, it, it would still land on either side. Huh. Anyway, do we want to pick the side or no? <laughs> <laughs> um, what what would you choose as? Uh, okay, wait. Maybe we're just thinking of different things. I'll just choose heads. Okay. All right. So you okay? Heads, it's you. Tails, it's me. Alright, it's pale! I'm free to read this fucking shit. <laughs> what flavor Smirnoff is it? Red, white, and berry. Ah. The good one, apparently. I, I haven't tried it, is it good? It's good. Oh, shit. My memory's so bad that, like, uh, I think I was on a call with Heisen with uh, my Minecraft, and I was like, I'm drinking a Smirnoff, and I'm like, I got, like, the red, white, and blue one. And I was like, I remember someone giving this to me. I don't know who, but I really enjoyed it, so that's why I got this flavor. He's like, yeah, Bozo, I'm the one who gave it <laughs> <laughs> That's funny. Yeah, and I'm like, oh, thanks, then. <laughs> Alright, chapter one, uh, New Beginnings. It's just a Stardew Valley intro, copy and paste it over. <laughs> Basically, that's all these Dirty Valley ones are. You, you can always see the first chapter of these, or the first portion, because it's just, you quit your job, you go on a bus, you meet Robin, she says your house sucks, and then you start your day. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, you had taken a bus to Stardew Valley a year ago to visit your dying grandfather. He called you to, to sit by his bed and, and handed you a letter. He told you to open it when you felt a growing emptiness in your life. On your way back, you tried to understand what he meant. It was a mournful time, or it was supposed to be anyway. Your job barely gave you any time to mourn. Now, months later, you sat at your desk, contemplating your life. Joja Corporation. Life's better with Joja. Only, it wasn't. It was actually extremely awful. You had no time for any hobbies or friends. You had begun to feel a growing emptiness a long time ago, but only now had it become clear. You slipped your hand from your keyboard to the small drawer on your right. Inside was a rectangular envelope which, from your grandfather. You carefully opened it and read. It explained that he had left you his farm in Stardew Valley and was signed, Love, Grandpa. He wished you the best of luck. Your eyes stared up a bit at the kind man that had left your life. You missed him. See, this is just basically copy and paste. <laughs> <laughs> this is describe the intro. The end. The, yep, the end. You move. I guess you meet an alcoholic at the end. You guys got married. 
<laughs> oh shit, what was the TikTok I saw? It's like the, the clip of the like the doctors are like working by this little infant and one of them like accidentally hits the thing's head so it starts crying. And it was like 20 years later, and it cuts to like someone else's little clip, and they're like, I think they're ashamed from starting. <laughs> <laughs> Alright. Your belongings were gathered up, and you're on a bus to Stardew Valley. You felt a hint of excitement that you haven't that hadn't been there in years. As you grew near, you began to see a canvas of green and blue. There were tall mountains and an open sky. It was a change of scenery from the Mon... The monotone rays. No, try again. Mon... Wait. Is that not, not monotones? It's... It's monotone, but it's describing monotone. It's Monotonous? Like an Almost. <laughs> Dumb. <laughs> Mon... Monotonous? Actually... English is a dumb language, so most people wouldn't even get it. It's monotonous. Monotonous? <laughs> Fine. English. Monotonous grayness of the city. Oh, shit. Okay, fuck. I'm... Okay. Once you... <laughs> once you... I was, like, messing up the shit. Alright, once you arrived, a woman named Robin was waiting for you. You claimed that the mayor sent her to get you. After a short ten-minute walk, you were looking at your new home. There was a cottage, not any smaller than your apartment, in front of you. It was wooden with a green with green around the windows and a slightly reddish roof. Looking ahead the house, it was covered in long grass, branches, trees, and stone. Robin noticed you glancing at the mess and claimed, There's some good soil underneath that mess. Just needs some dedication. I'm looking forward to it, but it's not gonna take a lot of work to get that good soil though. Oh, it's gonna t I can't read. <laughs> I was like, I was like trying to look at which line you were trying to read. I'm like, hmm. That doesn't seem right. <laughs> you you said with a sheepish smile. A, a, a man then stepped out through the door of your home. Hello, Bill. I'm I'm Mayor Lewis. He said, stretching his hand out to you. Everyone's been waiting for your arrival. It's not every day we get in, with any wait. It's not every day someone new moves into town. Nice to meet your mayor. I can't wait to meet everyone. <laughs> he responded, shaking the old man's hand. Robin and Mary Lewis then had a small quarrel for your sake about the house being rustic or crusty. He chuckled about it quietly. Mary Lewis suggested resting, then looking around town tomorrow. They wish you the best of luck, and they said goodbye. End of day one. <laughs> <laughs> God, I hate Lewis. <laughs> I, yeah, I saw that one. <laughs> Everyone, every, all the homies hate Mary Lewis. <laughs> all right. What is italics equals your own thoughts? It means if it's slanted, it's your own thoughts. Oh, okay, okay. Yeah. All right. Chapter two, the meeting. You woke up surrounded by the green wallpaper of your new home. It all still felt sort of unreal. You had never been out to be bold or rash in your decisions. Quite the contrary, you tended to be indecisive. Yet, here you were. As you stepped out of the front door, there was an orange box with a purple bow on it. The card read, Here's a little something to get you started. Mary Lewis. Inside was a packet of 15 parsnip seeds to be planted in spring. Well, it's time to get to work done. You grabbed your tools and began slashing and hacking at the rubble in front of your house. Once the ground was clear, you used your hoe to till the soil. It took you a bit of time, but you began to get the hang of it fairly quickly. After having planted the seeds and watered them, you felt some of your energy drained, but decided to go into town anyways. I hope I won't be too awkward. It was still 8 a.m. You could smell the flowers in the air and everything was blooming. Butterflies floating about. It was beautiful. Following the signs, you made your way into town. The first place he visited was the clinic. Inside, a man with soft brown eyes introduced himself. Oh my god, Dr. Harvey! Sorry. <laughs> oh my god, we can't escape him. He's everywhere. Can this turn into a fucking Harvey X reader by the end of it? <laughs> <laughs> just, just by the end. Yeah. Is there like books where there's just like a plethora of options, X reader? 
I, and then like the reader has to guess who they end up with or something. I have no idea. There was a, there it was close. To, I read a book kind of like that, where it was like, it was called like the show X Reader, but they made it like a certain character that you went for, which I've seen a million times of character. I was hoping for something new, but by the end, like yeah. he was he was an asshole and he cheated. And, was, and like this other dude comforted our YN character. And I was like, yes, we get to go for this character. Fuck this guy. No, she <laughs> went back to the cheating motherfucker. And I was like, I can't. And then I closed the book and never read it again. <laughs> it's a whole ass drama show. Yeah, I was like, no. Why would you do that? Once a cheater, always a cheater, man. <laughs> anyway, we're getting ahead of ourselves. Hi, Harvey. <laughs> Uh, it's a pleasure to meet you. I'm Harvey, the local doctor. He told you a bit about his job before he left. Walking around was a plump woman with a long braid of hair. She smiled at you. I'm Marty, and invited you to visit her ranch and check out her products. You smiled back a lot and thanked her, not knowing what else to say. Next was Pierre's general store. Pierre exclaimed, Hey, it's Bill. He encouraged you to buy seed from him instead of Joji Corp. You assured him you would never buy from those people, which is apparently the right thing to say. Hell yeah. If I learn anything from, like, Honey Pop, it's always tell them what you want to hear, what they, what they want to hear, dog. What is, what is Honey Pop? Have you never heard of Honey Pop before? Oh, you see? Oh, wait, the game? Summer, yes, the, the game. It, I the, think I saw it on Steam. Like, I thought it was Hoonie Pop. It, it's, like, it's like Bejewel, but, like, you date a woman, and then by the fourth date, you get to, like, do some, like, weird shit with her. And, like, Is at it night, Honey Pop or Hoonie Pop? I don't know how to pronounce it's it. It's Honey. Yeah, Honey Pop. Ah. Uh. <laughs> yeah, you just keep saying the right things. Yeah. Like a dating sim. Yeah. Yeah, you just like, yeah, if it's a nerdy girl, you tell her that you love video games, man. If it's one of those preppy girls, hell yeah, I love, I love that. <laughs> that kind of thing. <laughs> you kept walking and found the built man with short brown hair standing by the tree next to a house. Hey, you're the new girl, huh? I think we're gonna get along great. Wait, I thought it was gender Wait, neutral. I was about to say too, like, I thought this was gender neutral. <laughs> gender neutral girl. Roll with it. <laughs> I'm Alex. He was playing with a football as he talked to you. I'll see you around. These people are really nice. Inside the house were two elderly people that greeted you. The old woman held your hand and said, Why, hello, and welcome to our little community, dear. You can call me Granny if you like. She is so sweet. Her husband, whose name, whose name you learned was George, simply said, It's irritating to have to meet all these new people, huh? Now buzz off. And continued to watch TV. What a dick. He is <laughs> this guy's always a dick. a dick. You began to apologize, but Granny Evelyn simply told you to not worry about him. In front of a worn trailer sat a blonde woman with heavy makeup, drinking a beer. Hey kid, name's Pam. Don't be a jerk and we'll get along fine. You continued to introduce yourself politely, as you had been, and got out of her way. As you passed the town's graveyard, you saw a girl sitting below a tree reading a book. She simply said, Hi, do you want something? You introduced yourself and she rapidly apologized for being so rude and began blushing. Her name turned out to be Penny, Pam's daughter. She tutored the two kids in town. Passing by was a tall girl with a green shirt and muddy boots. Hi, my name is Leah. You picked a good time to move here. The spring is lovely. Her voice had a cheerful tone as she spoke to you about Cinder Sap Forest. She could be really helpful, seems to know a lot about the wild. A girl with bright blue hair and red lips opened the door of the house that followed. Ooh, I can read it on your face. You're gonna love it here at Pelican Town. I'm Emily. Stop by the saloon. That's where I work. She was so friendly. It really made you smile. Until another girl showed up. She had blue eyes, styled blonde hair, and a and an adorable, sexy outfit. You felt inadequate in your dirty boots, jeans, and shirt. <laughs> Ew, you're sweaty. <laughs> Ew, you're sweaty. You have been dreading something like this all day. Emily yelled, Haley, that's rude. Fine, sorry. I'm Haley. Don't bother talking to me. <laughs> okay. Sorry oh, for yes, existing. I love, I love a woman degrading me. I mean, what? <laughs> 
Sorry for breathing the same air as you, my queen. Yeah. <laughs> Emily began to argue with her sister, but you just said, It's okay. I guess it's all the farm work and walking around. I'm not used to it. And I'll do my best to stay out of your way. They continued to argue, so you just left. The house next to Emily was a deep blue. He knocked on the door, but when it opened, you couldn't see anyone. Big eyes looked up at you, and the young boy said, Oh, a stranger. My name's Vincent. He knelt down and shook his hand. His mother quickly showed up and gave you a strange look. You aren't exactly how I imagined, but that's okay. I'm Jody. What's that supposed to mean, you thought, but remained polite. As you walked around, you found your way into the town's library. A thin man with a baby blue cowboy hat introduced himself as Gunther and apologized for not having any archaeological artifacts on display and asked you to let him know if you found any. You enjoyed helping others, so you agreed despite having just arrived. Reading a book along the shelves, you saw a man with a handsome face and long flowing hair. He caught a glimpse of you and smiled. Ah, the farmer we've all been expecting, and whose arrival has sparked many a conversation. I'm a writer. My name is Elliot. It is a pleasure. He then kissed your hand, which was a little shocking. Hell yeah, I love Elliot. He's my favorite. <laughs> More than Harvey? I'm, it's a 50-50, dog. Elliot was my first love, dog. Huh. <laughs> Above the library was the blacksmiths. He was a large, average-looking man. Man, fuck Clint. <laughs> that was such a large, average-looking man. <laughs> I mean, that's what he is. There's nothing outstanding about Clint. <laughs> er, hi, I'm Clint. If you ever need to upgrade your tools, I'm your guy. After you introduced yourself, you both just looked around. He seemed uncomfortable, so you promptly left. Standing on the bridge above the river was a pale girl with curly purple hair. Yo, it's your wife! <laughs> Abby! Oh, right. I heard someone new was moving into that old farm. It's a shame. I always enjoyed exploring those overgrown fields myself. You encouraged her to keep exploring since it was a large area and you were barely getting started. She stopped acknowledging you and looked off at the water. Her name is Abigail. A guy with spiky blonde hair and a big smile showed up. Hi, I'm Sam. Nice to meet you. He told you about his music, and you said you couldn't wait to hear it. <laughs> this guy's passing, passing around his mixtape. Yeah, He's yo, like, check hey, out my mixtape. <laughs> hey, look at my SoundCloud, please. <laughs> Follow me. You had to walk further up to reach Robin's house. She introduced you to her husband, Demetrius and daughter, Maru. Demetrius did scientific research, and Maru helped him out. She began talking about the DNA of crops, and all you could do was nod. What a smart girl. You walked right, uh, you walked right and picked up what seemed like a horseradish. As you got up, you were surprised to see a guy dressed in all in, all in black with his hair covering half his face. He looked at you. Oh, you just moved in, right? Very casually. Cool. Oh, I'm so relieved. He looked kind of rude, but he seems nice. Out of all the places you could live, you chose Pelican Town? You struggled to respond, and he just walked away and began to smoke a cigarette. He wouldn't really understand. His name was Sebastian. Upon walking from your meeting place with Sebastian, you found a scruffy-looking man with great- <laughs> Dude, this whole chapter is like, introducing everyone. Yeah, I mean, that's basically what you're supposed to do on the first day. Play with little <laughs> parsnips and then go walk around. <laughs> <laughs> Upon walking from your meeting place of Sebastian, you found a scruffy-looking man with gray hair and beard, wearing strange clothes. I'm Linus. I'm a homeless by- I'm homeless by choice. Nice. Have you come to judge me too? You assured him you wanted to be friends, but he still looked at you a little coldly. It is a bit odd to be homeless by choice, but I'm nobody to judge him. It began to grow dark on your way home, and you ran into the Star Drop Saloon. Emily excitedly waved at you. She introduced you to Gus, the owner. He offered you a beer on the house as a welcoming gift. You got closer to the fireplace to warm your hands. It was spring, but the nights were still cold. You saw a guy you hadn't met in, ta in a tattered Jojo uniform and short and dark purple hair. He was drinking beer 
fairly quickly. There was something about him that made you feel weird. You began to introduce yourself as you had done all day, but he didn't look at you. After a few seconds, he drank from his beer and your eyes met. His were dark and lacked any light. I don't know you. Why are you talking to me? He stood there, unsure of what to do. You quietly said, sorry, and walked away. You left your beer and walked outside. Not Emily alcohol. came chasing after you. <laughs> we paid Emily came. Gold. <laughs> yeah, already. Yeah. Oh wait, no, that it was on the house though. I hope it is. <laughs> Emily came chasing after you. Don't feel bad, Bill. His name is Shane. He's like that. You remained quiet. Bill. Emily seemed concerned. Don't worry, Emily, I'm okay, but it's late and I have crops to water in the morning. Thank you for everything. Good night. Alright, Bill. Be safe on your way home. See you tomorrow. See, this person gets it. They're like my baby girl, Elliot. <laughs> I'm not the weird one. That's your alt account. You can't yeah. trick me. <laughs> yeah. Oh, no. Yeah, I always knew your username was Silly Little Goober Boy. Why did I think of that first? <laughs> little Goober Boy. <laughs> That's that guy. I wish I had that kind of name. Some one with a normal name, like Phoenix Flair. <laughs> Not even that normal. It always, like, half of them have a 69 at the end. <laughs> oh, damn, this is a short chapter. Alright. Alright, good night, I guess. The, the star dropped in. Oh, it's this. <laughs> <laughs> where did the end come from? I don't know. I don't know where it came from. Alright, the star dropped saloon was empty. Neither Gus or Emily was behind the bar. You stood on the olive green rug by the entrance. The crackling of the fireplace was soothing. The song you liked was already playing on a jukebox. Suddenly, you were holding a beer in your hand. Give it the bottle to your lips. It tasted sweet somehow. You took a few steps across the wooden floor as it made a creak or two. It was so warm. A gust blew. A gust of wind. Wait. A cold gust of air then blew out the fire. Startled, you dropped your bottle. The liquid splattered all over the floor. You felt a strange presence behind you. Slowly, you turned around and found Shane standing close to your face. Your heart began to beat faster. Then you woke up. <laughs> that was like a horror movie. Oh, that was just a dream. I don't know what it is about it, but it makes me feel like this. He's so rude. I shouldn't have even talked to him in the first place, but I'm glad I did. One little teaser before, Brian. More chapters coming tomorrow. Let me know what you get. Thanks. Thanks for reading. I got eight hearts, only got two hearts. <laughs> ah, shit. My fucking mouse is fucking up. Okay. okay. He said he pissed me off so bad that I decided to marry him in spite for this assholey behavior. <laughs> spite? God, marry him in spite, huh? Yeah, I guess out of spite. I hate this guy, so I'm gonna marry him. Yeah. That's, that's an enemies to lovers scenario right there. <laughs> Except it was like opposite of just enemies just dating. <laughs> or some shit like that. I don't know. Sorry, I'm getting distracted by the ad that's playing on the side of a YouTube figure of Hatsume Miku. <laughs> I don't know why. It's a little distracting. I can't wait. Can I I'm getting this? an ad of, uh. What is this? Okay, I, I think this is Wattpad Premium. Oh, nice. They're trying to advertise me. Want a break from the ads? If you tap, no. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, a discovery. You awoke from that dream. You just met him. I don't know anything about him yet. There's this look in his eyes. For the love of Yoba, I have to stop and get to work. You began, to sh you began shaking your head as if that could make your thoughts of him go away. Ready to face the day, you check your mail and discover a letter from a man named Willie on your mailbox. Hello there. I just got back from a fishing trip. You should come down to the beach sometime. I got something for you. You have spent all your time in the town meeting people that you forgot to visit the beach. I'll go right after I finish watering my little turnips. Oh, parsnips. 
<laughs> You're just replacing words with their synonyms. I don't know why. It's such a bad habit of me. Of like, I'll have a script of what I'm gonna say to someone and I end up fucking up the sentence. Maybe you just replace it with a word that you think will fit better. I guess. <laughs> I don't know what's wrong with me. <laughs> I think I'm coming down with something. <laughs> like dyslexia, but like, not. It's like, just replacing random stuff. Yeah. Yeah, I, I mean, that happened before. I went to go say- like, cause I saw someone at Walmart that I knew from high school. So I went to go say the name of the high school, but I ended up saying, like, a similar name. But it was the name of an elementary school in- <laughs> I'm glad what? the dude still got what I was talking about. Like, which school? Yeah. <laughs> So they're watching me, I'm like, damn it, you're so stupid! <laughs> Why would you <laughs> say the elementary school? <laughs> Alright, anyway. <laughs> <laughs> you just, yeah, I can just imagine you waking up at 3 a.m. just in a cold <laughs> sweat <laughs> thinking about that. Yeah. Sometimes I think about the throw-up incident of 2020. <laughs> oh. Yeah. <laughs> Though it doesn't sound like a complicated thing to do. You struggle to water the, the correct area and sometimes I ended up watering the bare ground. Is it really is it really so hard to get water to land where I want it? Yes, I'm starting to value a game, yes, but this is supposed to be IRL, so Yeah, you're pretty <laughs> stupid that you can't water the ground. <laughs> <laughs> As you begin to walk to the town square, you saw a glimpse of Violet moving right towards you. Oh, yo, but what do I do? Panicking, you hit behind the clinic. I wonder where he's going this early. Would it be too weird if I fall in? Oh, she no. Stalker. No, yes, yeah, stalker. Uh, stranger danger. Yeah, for Shane's sake, it's <laughs> stranger danger. <laughs> I'm trying to get to know the town, that's all. I quietly followed behind Shane, making sure he wouldn't notice me. Finally, you arrived at Jojo Mart. Of course, his uniform. I should have known he was heading to work. The Joja has even slithered its way into this small town. Join us! Thrive. Thrive? More like die. <laughs> you wanted. You waited so. You. What? Wait. You waited some times before entering the evil store, and then with the face of a crow welcomed you. How are you doing today? I don't believe we met. I'm Morris. Joe's a customer satisfaction rep. We you decide to become a member. Ba 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 ba. You ignore Morris and looked around to find Shane. You spawned him and I'll see, stocking the shelves. He felt a little curious and got awfully close, but he still didn't seem to pay you any attention. He was hard at work. Even in this terrible place, he was working hard. It's kind of admirable. You get to blush at your own thought of him and quickly left the store. Once outside, you took a deep breath and walked over to the beach. This- why? Why are we sipping for Shane? <laughs> this is Shane Reader. I don't like expect? it. <laughs> you finally find Willie at the- this is the only positive thing. We're gonna meet Willie. Willie! Yeah. Willie found... X Reader. Yes. Can we try to find one? Uh... <laughs> <laughs> No, okay. It may or may not be cursed. Yeah. <laughs> he was smoking tobacco out from a pipe. The strong aroma intermingled with the saltiness of the ocean air. The water was calm on, and the day was warm. Ahoy there, miss. Oh, I, I, excuse me. I go by they, them. <laughs> <laughs> I go by Caesar. <laughs> Gender neutral my ass on this. <laughs> I don't think he's ever said ahoy in this game. Well, I think it's the text. I think that that's what he says. Does he? I think, I don't know, it's been a while. Well, you have to play the game for the first time to, to get it, but... Ahoy there, miss. Good to finally meet you. I'm trying to unwind from the month down the salty seas. Finally say enough to find me a good rod. Yeah, I want you to have my old fishing rod. It's important to me that the art of old fishing stays alive. And hey... Maybe if you buy something from the shop once in a while. Willie taught you how to fish, despite you being kind of slow and messy, messing up completely several times. 
This is more difficult than I thought. When you finally understood the basics, a few hours have passed. I'll buy anything you catch. If it smells, it sells. <laughs> that's what I call... That's what my old copy used to say, anyway. Thank you so much for your kindness. I'll do my best, you told him with a serious look. No need to be so polite, Bill, he chuckled. We're like family in this town. Glad to have you. He thanked him anyways and headed home to get some well-deserved rest. Yay. <laughs> I'm gonna look at this credit image. Tumblr? Could only maybe get Tumblr. I don't know if what? that should be a thing. Cool thing. I can't even copy and paste this. Does Wildcat not let you do that? No, they don't. Why? It's for copyright protection, so you can't take another author's work. Oh. I mean, I could probably, like... Oh, you know what you can do? To... You can go, like, on the side where it says comment on there, and then you can copy it on that. Wait, what do you mean? Okay. You see where, like, the comments are on the side? Uh-huh. If you, if you go over to where it says credit image, it's, you can comment on it. And if you press it, you can write a comment, but also it pulls up the whole text. So you can just copy it, and it'll let you copy it from there. Ah, big brain. Yeah, big brain. Rainy day. Alright. Give rid Why are there a big mouth U2s, man? Is that the ad you're getting? Yeah, I keep getting U2's ads because I bought something from it and now I just keep getting bombarded with them. I keep getting Wattpad Premium ads. Do you not have any other cookies for them to advertise to you? That they're like, I guess you could buy Wattpad Premium. <laughs> I, I think I usually just don't store them. Unless oh. it's for like a site that I need them for. Gotcha. Yeah, you just... Watch, you only use this computer just for Wattpad, so they just be like, uh, I guess you can get Wattpad Premium since you're always on here. <laughs> yeah. Every Saturday, you're just, like, scrolling through your Stardew content, I guess. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, rainy day. Alright, you get to read this one, and then we'll call it. Cool, cool. What chapter is this? Uh... Uh, chapter five. One, two, three, four, five. Next chapter is Happy Birthday. Darn. Rainy day. There was no need to water your crops. The rain would be your magical watering can for today. It left you more time to do the other things. As you put on a raincoat and stepped outside, the earthy, sm the earthy scent of rain falling on dry soil made you feel tingly. Lots of sentence. <laughs> the earthy scent of rain falling on dry soil made you feel tingly. Mm -hmm. You looked up in wonder and inhaled deeply as if out of breath. Without really meaning to, you began thinking of him again. This cold, gloomy rain reminded you of him. <laughs> it was... <laughs> He's like, wow, the compliment! <laughs> I just got reminded of you. You're just so cold and gloomy. Yeah, you're so depressing to be around. <laughs> Happy birthday, I guess. <laughs> <laughs> it was getting to be time for him to go into work at Joja Mart. Oh my god, she just she just knows the schedule. Yeah, she She's got dangerous. the dangerous. Stranger danger. She got the Stardew Valley wiki up for this <laughs> bit. <laughs> She's just like waiting outside the store, mm -hmm. breathing heavily, like ah, ah, hi Shane. <laughs> I wonder what he's thinking right now. Slightly away from your crops, you saw a bright yellow flower. It was like a small sun in this cloudy sky. You gently plucked the flower. It was a daffodil. It's so beautiful. Maybe this could get him to smile. <laughs> I doubt it. Uh, you hurried off and waited for him to, in the town square. I hope this doesn't waste his time and make him late. <laughs> Oh, there he is. No, I don't have time to chat with you, he said as he kept walking. <laughs> I was thinking this might make your day a little better. <laughs> you handed him the daffodil with hopeful eyes. 
He stopped walking and finally looked at you. I don't really like this. <laughs> <laughs> Even it's, it's accurate to the game, too. That just yeah. makes it funny. You apologized, but he simply continued on, and you eventually lost sight of him. Well, at least he took the flower. He sat on the bench in front of the saloon. So, he doesn't like flowers. I should have probably expected that. Not everyone likes flowers. I don't know what I was thinking. Why do I feel so bad? Maybe if I plant some seeds, I'll feel better. You headed to Piers, but when you tried to open the door, it simply stayed put. <laughs> That's a mood. How many times have I gone to the store, trying to buy seeds? Yes. And it's like, oh yeah, it's closed. Fuck. You check the calendar. Of course, it's Wednesday. Why didn't I buy some seeds yesterday? I'm such an idiot. You also couldn't help but notice that Shane's birthday was on the 20th. I definitely won't be giving him flowers. Uh, shoot. Where am I? I scrolled too much. <laughs> no. Oh, there I am. <laughs> Walking with your head down. <laughs> Walking with your head down, you found your way into the beach and moved around aimlessly on the docks. Suddenly, you ran into a dark figure. When you looked up, you realized it was Sebastian. Hey, I'm sorry for running into you. I'm so, so, don't worry about it. You're very small, so I barely felt it. <laughs> oh, I guess I am kind of small. Oh my god, we're so small and petite and short. <laughs> <laughs> uh, this should have been there should have been like the um you know how you can like set a custom hair color and stuff yeah it's like custom height yeah custom height to short or the size of the dwarf you're like three seven <laughs> <laughs> just kick you around uh oh i guess i am kind of small what are you doing out here in the rain i don't know just thinking you look down Try to stop thinking for a bit. Watch the rain. I'll never grow tired of the rain, especially out here. Why can't this be oh. Sebastian next reader? <laughs> <laughs> He's just so emo right now. Yeah. It is amazing, and it, sm it smells amazing too. He began to smile a little. He stood around while Sebastian smoked several cigarettes under his umbrella. The sun had already begun to set, and the day grew darker. I'm gonna go to the saloon. Thank you for helping me. And gave him a wide smile. Help you with what? I was just enjoying the rain. Right. Aren't you going home? It's getting late. I have trouble sleeping. I think I might have some teas for that if... I'm okay, just go. Oh, okay. Well, good night then. Be safe getting home, he said. But Sebastian stopped responding. Getting to the saloon was a bit of a struggle in the dark. But you managed to make it. You bought a beer even though you didn't have much money to spend. <laughs> it's alcoholic. Mm -hmm. Tried to not think at all, you walked over to Shane. I'm sorry about earlier. Here, you said as you handed him the beer, trying to avoid looking at his face. <laughs> She's actually just, uh, just following him around. Yeah, this is inaccurate. You can't give an NPC two gifts in the same day. Yeah, you can't do that. Alright, let's stop reading. Yeah. yeah. The end, yeah. <laughs> uh, as you handed him the beer, trying to avoid looking at his face. Now this is my favorite, he said, accepting it. Not knowing what else to do, you blush your way into a seat away from him, and asked Emily for a water, since you had spent your money on that beer for shame. I wonder what else he likes. Maybe I can ask Emily or Gus Whiter. Of this in mind, you had it home. Yeah, the best way to get to know someone is asking their bartender. <laughs> is beer actually his favorite? What's his favorite beer? His favorite is beer and pizza. Oh, sweet. I'm getting ads for gamer chairs. <laughs> Guess what I'm getting? <laughs> Bought that premium? <laughs> Curl up with your next reading obsession <laughs> in uninterrupted. Go ad free. I mean, that's good if you're reading on the phone constantly, but on the computer, you just, like, ignore them on the side and read your smut. That's that's what you do. Yeah, you guessed it. It's a picture of uh, a person reading on their phone yeah. with a cup of coffee in the morning sunlight, which is, <laughs> I don't know if I people do like. that. That's what I look like when I'm reading my Sanji x <laughs> <laughs> I just got a new picture. All right, I, I'm telling you this. I'm snipping this. Okay, I need this to one. see this. I'm pulling this up. 
Is this is this you? Yeah. Reading Shane Reader, you're just like, haha, so funny. That was me. I read a bit ahead when like when she picked up the dandelion and I saw the I don't really like this line. <laughs> but you heard me like choking and dying in the back. <laughs> At least it's accurate. I gotta say, with all the books that we've read, this one's pretty accurate to the character. Of like, it's pretty accurate to the uh, the game too. Yeah. Almost, but yeah. Yeah, yeah. I mean, like this this is the most in character that we ever seen or like uh, anyone. No one putting their fantasies over the person. Yes, and that's great. I'm 5'7 Gur. The. The what? 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 It's, it's a comment. Oh. I think maybe it was about the uh, the small part. Gotcha. Small. Small. I'm so small and petite and. 2'7. 2'7. Chopper size. 2'7? <laughs> Holy. Yeah, fuck. we're like, chopper height. <laughs> What is the height of a soccer ball? There's like... Just... <laughs> I don't know. Probably like four inches. <laughs> soccer ball height. No way it's four inches. Six inches. How many... Um, How many inches is a soccer ball? What's what's the diameter? 27 inches. Huh. Really? 27 to 28, yeah. Four inches! <laughs> <laughs> Man, that's pretty big. <laughs> oh, God. Alright. Well, did you have a good time? This was this was pretty tame. It was not bad. Yeah, not bad. This was not as bad as I thought it would be. So you know what? It's it's pretty good for us. We didn't suffer that much. It was a good turn of pace from reading Harvey Smut. You didn't like the Harvey I read it. I'm the one who read it. <laughs> you were so in character, huh? I was I was an actor. Actor, that's the word. Oh god, well, I guess it's time for us to spin the magical wheel to determine our fate, I guess. Alright, I, I got new colors for it. That way it looks Ooh, different from it's other all people. colors. Yeah, oh wait, I gotta show you this because I thought it was funny. Because um, they got appearances, so you can select a theme, right? And one uh -huh. of the themes is, there's a gaming theme, and one of them is Rocket League, and it's only blue and orange. <laughs> yes. Oh yes, Rocket League colors. <laughs> All right. Have you ever played that game? I tried. I suck at Rocket. It, it's very hard for beginners. I <laughs> probably say. Yeah, like kind of. Like, that was like me trying to play Counter Strike. It was awful. <laughs> oh okay. well. All right. Let's hope for something good. Maybe you'll get free will again. Who knows? Ooh. That's exciting. We can read Scooby Doo. <laughs> oh, oh shit! Wait, we gotta get rid of that. Oopsies. Sorry. <laughs> we don't have a Sam Max Sebastian anymore. All right. Anyway. <laughs> it just goes to the next one. Rigged. <laughs> what do you mean rigged? Rigged. We get to it's finish rigged. the book. <laughs> do you want? Do you want to spin it one more time? Uh, or do you if you more? want to. Okay, for your sake, we'll do one more spin, and th that'll be the one that we get. I mean, as much as I want to see his Hazel nice. Mm -hmm. What the fuck is this ship? It Ichigo X Rukia? Who's Rukia? I don't know, I think you picked this. There's no way. You think I picked this? Yeah. I picked oh, yeah. these people. <laughs> I've never watched... Is it, this is Bleach, right? I, I think it's Bleach? I don't know, I never watched Bleach. Alright, <laughs> alright, let me remove this, because this is Bleach, and we don't know shit about Bleach. Where is it on here? There it is. Alright. I need to watch Bleach, honestly. I mean, yeah. I heard it was good. Yay! <laughs> Why does it always, like, end up in the same location? I don't know. Anyway, you got free choice. Remove the option. <laughs> Yay! <laughs> We're not spinning the damn wheel again. Oh god. We're gonna find 
I mean, you can pick any book. So we can do the Scooby-Doo one again if you want. We can do an entirely new book. We can finish a book we have. It's up to you. Bob X Scooby-Doo. Yeah. Why you just pick the, the bleach ship? Uh, Kimmy Turner X Naruto. <laughs> if you find the book, we'll read it. There's <laughs> no way it exists. <laughs> Ships like there's like um there's ships of like characters who never even met like Elsa and like Jack Frost. <laughs> you know why people ship them? Why? They both have ice powers. Uh, of course. Yeah, that's the only. <laughs> Do some like Disney ships or something. Just yeah. Elsa. X oh shit! What is it? The, the dude from Who's Just You Kaiser with the white hair. People ship him with Cinderella. I kid you not. Why? I don't know why. What what happened? It was a thing on TikTok for people to ship Disney princesses with Hajisu Kaisen characters. I cannot give you the reason why. <laughs> uh. All right. Well, did you have fun? Did you learn something today? Yeah, I learned. Um... Yep. Yeah, yeah. That was a pretty good lesson. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Alright, well, you let me know what you find, and if you guys out there have a book recommendation, I have a new link so you can submit your terrible fanfiction or good fanfiction for us to either laugh at or ridicule on an episode. Maybe we take reader suggestions, and yeah. if it's good, we read it. Yeah, I mean, that's what the Add it to the is. wheel. Yeah, so if it's, a, if it's a good book, we'll add it to someone's wheel. Who knows? But, uh, but anyway, oh yeah, uh, the the book that we just read will be in the description as well. <laughs> I forgot about that part. <laughs> you didn't want to add it. Yeah, I mean, it was going to be down there anyway, but I forgot I actually have to verbally say that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I mean, this was, this was decent. I had, a, I had a fun time. It didn't decent. make me want to claw my eyes out. Pretty well written, pretty uh, grammatically correct all around. Yeah, and it's is lore accurate to Shane because he's an asshole. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, what? Anyway. What? Yeah, no, we didn't say that. Yeah, I did. <laughs> Sorry to all the Shane lovers out there. Well, they all have brain damage anyway, right? <laughs> Sorry to all two of you out there. <laughs> I think I'm, I'm gonna kidding. marry start. I think I'm gonna marry Shane and Starry Valley. All right, well, that was Minho. My name is Phoenix, and I guess we'll see you guys next time for another Wapad reading. See ya. Bye. -bye. <laughs>